I'm Dr. Nick Calcaterra. I'm a dentist in Orange, Connecticut. What you're going to see here today is incredibly unique. Something that, to the best of our knowledge, has never been filmed before. Here's the background. We have a patient, Stella, who was treated at another dental office. On two separate occasions, she was given Novocaine, or some variation of that, which is a local anesthetic, in which she suffered severe adverse reactions, life-threatening, requiring an ambulance and a trip to the emergency room. It was truly scary for her. She was then referred to two separate allergists. Those allergists did in-office testing in which they deployed a variety of local anesthetics, lidocaine, articaine, mepivacaine, bupivacaine, etc. And she suffered those same reactions in their office. The conclusion was simple. She could never receive another local anesthetic injection ever again. What you will see here today is me perform a root canal procedure on Stella with a live nerve using not lidocaine or articaine, but using Benadryl, also known as diphenhydramine, as a local anesthetic combined with IV sedation. This is truly groundbreaking because it enables patients who suffer either adverse reactions or allergic reactions to local anesthetics to receive pain-free dental care in an outpatient setting. We're gonna break this video down into two sections. The first section, you'll see me meeting with Stella before we do the procedure in which she talks about her experiences. I've treated Stella three times already. This is gonna be the fourth. The second part of the video, you'll see me performing the actual root canal procedure on her with her live nerve using Benadryl or the diphenhydramine as a local anesthetic along with IV sedation. All right, so you feeling nice and relaxed today, Stella? Yes, yeah, I, I feel good. Okay, and you took the relaxing pill this morning, right? Yes, I, I took the relaxing pill an hour ago, yeah, just before the procedure. Okay, good. Now, can you briefly explain what happened when you first had that reaction at the other dentist? What, what happened what to happened? you? Uh, after the anesthesia, the, actually, I think after the third time they uh, applied the anesthesia, I start uh, feeling weird, very weird. Uh, my heart starts like very fast beat, and uh, I feel my eye, the left eye starts blinking, kind of inside, let's say inside because they couldn't see it. I was explaining to them that something wrong with my eye, but they, they look at me and say there's nothing wrong. Uh, and it was kind of my body was trembling um, and I faint. Right, this is faint. I faint. Uh, they had to, had to wake me up and uh, we had to call the ambulance because my blood pressure was really high over 200, over 200, 210, over. 117, something like that. So they had to take me to the emergency to to see what is going on. Okay, so yeah, that must have been very scary yes, for you, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so we decided again to try without epinephrine, just to try with uh, Novocaine. But I, I had the same reaction, even kind of worse, because uh, my blood pressure again went very high. I was trembling for almost 30 minutes and uh, I end up in the emergency room again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was two allergists, one in Stanford and one in uh, New York City who did testing. You had a an adverse reaction of some sort and they both said you cannot have the traditional local anesthetics. Yes. Okay. I've done a number of different dental procedures on you. Can you list some of the procedures that I've done on you using this technique? Root canal, uh, crown, uh, cavity. Right? Yeah. These are the yeah. Yeah. Can you um, point at the tooth I did the root canal on? The root canal is the, this one, the last. On, on the bottom? On the bottom, yeah. Okay. And now this one. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I did a root canal on tooth number 31, which is one of the more notoriously difficult tooth, uh, teeth to get numb. Uh, she had a live nerve in that tooth, and we did a root canal on that using this technique. Right? Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury.
Okay, you ready to get started? Yes. Okay. Okay, Stella, you feeling pretty chill? Yeah. Are you ready to get started? Mm -hmm. I almost fell asleep. <laughs> okay, good, good. So we got the IV in, and we have all the monitors on ready to do IV or twilight sedation. There's one final monitor, antitidal carbon dioxide, which I'll put on shortly. Um, this morning, Stella took a relaxing pill, as well as uh, another medication designed to diminish her ability to feel pain. Once the IV was established, I administered another non-sedative medication Again, designed to attenuate her pain receptors so they're less likely to feel pain. Once she's in the twilight state, I'll be administering the local anesthetic. This I mixed this morning. It's a combination of sterile saline, diphenhydramine, and epinephrine in a very specific concentration. I've done this before on Stella and other patients and they get numb from this. For the IV sedation medications themselves, which I'll be administering shortly, it's going to do three things. Number one, it will greatly reduce her ability to feel pain. It's going to significantly relax her, number two. And number three, it will create amnesia of the procedure. By combining all of this together, the IV sedation, the Benadryl local anesthetic, and all the pre-op regimen that we've done, she'll be able to get dentistry done in a pain-free manner. She'll be sufficiently numb, and we can get all the procedures that we need to get done today. Ready? Okay, so ready to start. We have the antidote carbon dioxide on and we're gonna push the medications. All right, you ready, Stella? Okay, okay. Okay, so Stella is in a nice twilight state. I'm gonna go ahead and administer my Benadryl epinephrine local anesthetic. Okay, and Stella, open up a little bit for me. Good job, good job. You might feel a little, little pinch in the numbing. Awesome job. Thank you for opening like that, good. And then open a little bit more, Stella. Good job. Okay. okay. So I administered the um, normal amount of the Benadryl epinephrine local anesthetic approximately six minutes ago. Cells in a nice twilight state, so we're ready to get started. That's the live nerve, just took that out, and she's in a great twilight state. Okay, so I just put my temporary filling in the tooth. We finished the root canal, put my temporary filling in. Stella's been awesome, just sort of chilling in her twilight state. Uh, no pain, I, I can say that for a fact. And we're all done. So we'll take this rubber dam off, let her chill, and then um, yeah, we'll check in with her in with her when she's more alert. Okay, so we're done. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay, so we finished the root canal. Um, do you remember much of that procedure? No? Okay. Do you remember me getting you numb with the Benadryl? I think I did numb with you. A little bit? Okay. Okay, then it gets kind of foggy. Yeah. 
All right. So um, I can tell you when we did the procedure, you uh, I know what happens when a patient feels pain. You felt zero pain at all. You were cool as a cucumber, just chill the entire time. I got into the live nerve, removed the live nerve. You were totally numb, just chilling throughout the entire process. Okay. Okay. Um, you. You're well, right? Um, in case you want to look at the x-ray over here, this was the pre-op tooth x-ray. Uh, big, big cavity here, which is why she needed the root canal. Um, nothing here, so this was definitely a live nerve. And then that's the completed effort from today. Again, um, this was completed without any pain on the patient. We just did the, um, the Benadryl local anesthetic and the IV station. That pretty much wraps it up for today. Um, Stella has other needs, so we'll be doing this again, <laughs> unfortunately for her. But um, we have a good solution to her allergy. Sound like a plan? Okay. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this is the best dentist that I ever know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stella. I appreciate that. So did, did a good job. <laughs>